Welcome to Short View Trading. This is your morning market hit for Wednesday, 24th of March. What matters today for traders? Well, equity markets were weak again yesterday. If we look, for example, at the global equity index, it was lower on the session, having generated a bearish key day reversal pattern last Thursday. In the US, all the major equity indices closed lower, and within that, the rotation theme continued, with money coming out of the recent reflation trades, out of the cyclical parts of the equity market, the Russell, for example, was down 3.6% on the day and closed below its 50-day moving average. And that's, of course, consistent with the move lower in bond yields, which played a part in driving the pretty marked underperformance of the Russell relative to the NASDAQ 100. That's the black line on this chart on your screen now. As well as bond yields, though, the move in the Russell was, of course, linked to the sharp fall in oil, with Brent futures down nearly 6% yesterday and closing below their 50-day moving average. Price action in other assets was also troubling for the bulls yesterday with the dollar adding to recent gains, rallying back up towards its highs from the 9th of March and consistent, of course, with that move lower in oil. So where do we go from here? Oil, the dollar, bond yields have all been creating headwinds for equity markets. How long should we stay with the risk off momentum? How long will it last? We answer all of that in our daily trading publication where we make a one to two week recommendation on US equities. Yesterday we were recommending short positions. It's available on the website. We offer a free trial for seven trading days and really our view is driven by the positioning from our short term models, the signals we get from those indicators. Many of them, like this one on your screen now, have started to move back towards buy levels. This one measures the percent of US single stocks that are overbought. It was at high levels in mid-March, generating a sell signal. It's now fallen back below its buy threshold. And as you can see, it's been timely in signaling the key turning points in the US equity market over recent months. For a full assessment of our models and for how we're trading this market, have a look at our daily trading publication available on the website. What are we watching today? Well, in terms of data out of Europe, we get PMI, manufacturing and service sector readings for March. For UK, France, Germany, the Eurozone, we get it for the US at 2.45 London time. We also get durable goods orders out of the US for February. And in terms of events, Powell and Yellen both testifying before Congress this afternoon. That was your Morning Market Hit. Do follow us on YouTube, search under Shortview Trading. Join us on Twitter, LinkedIn and Facebook. Thanks for listening.